Uh, first, I want to congratulate Andy uh, with uh, reaching the top of the Kilimanjaro together with Robo. A big achievement and so for raising money for the Manchester United Foundation. So a big achievement and uh, uh, from our side, big concrete and um, uh, enjoy it as well. And as I say, I think it's really for a good, um, good target and uh, hopefully uh, yeah, hopefully it will be follow up and buy a lot of money for this uh, charity. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Why don't you give us the first question, Andy? Got mountains is a big climb, yeah. <laughs> no, um, what what makes you think you can still succeed at, at Manchester United, Eric? What what are you seeing that your critics might might be missing? Oh, also we have to climb a mountain. And but this is top football, and sometimes you have to face challenges. But um, and sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. And, but I'm sure we will make it a success, um, as we did the last two seasons. We will make it a success, and um, I think uh, we are uh, we are in a direction underneath. I see the good things. I see underneath. I see good patterns, and I see also uh, the good stats. What confirms that we are in a good direction, but of course the ranking is not lying. Uh, we are where we are and that's not good enough. Eric, first of all, obviously you, you can see positives, but there's always a lot of noise around your position, certainly at the start of this international break. Did you feel the need to seek any assurances about your position? No. Uh, the noise is only coming from the media, from you guys. Uh, for some of you, let's say this, not all of you, but some of you uh, who uh, uh, bringing up stories, creating stories, creating fairy tales, um, making the noise, bringing lies, uh, because I know uh, we are on one page in this group. I told this before the break. I told several journalists, uh, probably they didn't, they, don't be they didn't believe me, uh, because um, uh, I see the reports, but internal in the club, it's quiet. Of course, we, uh, we are discussing. Uh, in the position where we are and that we are unhappy with the position where we are and how we have to turn the corner and what has to happen and so what it should be the strategy to turn this corner but ultimately uh, we are quiet we are composed uh, uh, we stay where we are we stick to the plan and uh, we are very convinced we will make it a success. When you're looking to turn a corner, it doesn't help when you get injuries and you have to deal with a lot last season. So what's the situation with Maserawi, Manu and Maguire and the, the time scales for them? I definitely it will not help, that is that's for sure. And you need players available to to perform. So that is one one point we have to change in this club. But uh, then to this point actual is that um, Kobe and Harry they are out for a couple of weeks. And uh, Masrawi, that's the good news, he's, uh, he, he faced an illness, but he returned on the training pitch and he's available for selection for tomorrow. Hi, Rick. Um, just to ask you, away from Manchester United, we saw Thomas Tuchel come in as the England manager. He faced him twice last season as a Bayern Munich head coach. What do you make of that appointment? I think very good choice <laughs> from, 